Hey guys, this week I'm going to be showing you how to make this bird feeder. Stick around. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of BS with AJ. As I said before, this week we're going to be making this bird feeder and we're going to be using the bottle we cut in half on our last video. So uh, if you do like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe because we do videos like this every week. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's our bottle from that we cut off last week. And it looks like it measures about nine and a half inches. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and cut us a piece of two by four at 12 inches. And then we're going to rip that in half. And that's going to be our backing board for this. So now we got two pieces. They're both sanded down all around. Uh, this one here is going to be our backing piece to hold our wine bottle. So we're going to set that to the side for now. This piece here, we're going to go ahead and cut a three inch strip here. And that's going to be the base to actually hold the food. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so what, you, what we've done here is I put this bottle here up next to the edge and centered it. And then I traced around the bottle. So that way I know I need to cut a little bit bigger than that right there. Just slightly bigger. Probably just the width of the blade or something. And then we're gonna go ahead and move out from the outside line, half an inch, and we're gonna go all the way around that. And we're gonna go ahead and cut that out with our bandsaw, the inside and the outside, and then we'll come back and sand it down with our belt sander. All right, so we found another little scrap piece of one by here. And what we've done here is we marked the center of it, drew our line here, and then we came from one edge an inch and three quarter in. Because our hole saw bit is an inch and a half, we need half of that to be our center, which is three quarters of an inch. And our bottle actually sets one inch off our back board that we've made here. So we need to come in an inch and three quarter. We're going to go ahead and drill our inch and a half hole right through here. All right, now we got about a half inch on each side and all the way around this circle here. We kind of freehanded most of it, but we drew our half inch lines here with our square. So we're going to go ahead and cut these off square and we're going to cut this radius off on the bandsaw. All right, so I've got another piece here that's three quarters of an inch by an inch and a half. And we're gonna be using this piece as basically a border around our base piece, which is gonna keep our seed from falling off onto the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this down. We're gonna cut a five inch piece off of this, and then we're gonna measure our two sides, and we'll cut them down as well. But we're gonna put a 45 degree bevel on each of these to make sure it kinda of lines up right, and it'll kinda of resemble a picture frame. All right, so our two side pieces also have to have a bevel to be able to fit up on the front piece there. So we need to cut these at four and a half inches. And we actually need to cut this straight. So that way we'll have one end beveled and this end will be straight. Let's go ahead and get it. All right, now we're going to go back to our 45 degree angle. Bevel this. And then cut this into four and a half as well. Alright, and these are two side pieces here. Alright, now we got our quarter inch round over bit set up on our router here. And we're going to round over the outside edge of the top and bottom of this, so that way it just looks a little nicer. All 
All right, so now we have all of our pieces somewhat put together like we want them here. And the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and put our base together. We're going to go ahead and attach it to our uh, backing board here. And then we're going to decide where exactly we want our bottles set because none of this is actually attached just yet. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with that. We're going to be using glue for all these joints and we're going to be attaching them with inch and a quarter finish staples. All right, now that we have our base all put together, we're gonna go ahead and attach our backing piece to it as well. So we're gonna go ahead and throw some glue on here and staple it together just like we did a while ago. You definitely wanna keep a square on hand and make sure your back is square to your uh, base piece here. All right, now we've got our pieces set to about where we want them here. We've got it to where our bottle is a little bit above our base here, so that way it has enough room for the feed to come down, fill up the entire base, and then it'll stop once it gets so high. So we've got it pretty well eyeballed where we want it, and uh, we made sure and equally spaced this piece here since it's smaller than our board. This piece is the same size, so we just have to make it flush. And uh, you definitely want to make sure and mark it with a pencil, and then, uh, take your bottle out whenever you go to staple it because you could accidentally shatter your bottle and that's not good. So let's get started on that. All right, so now we're gonna take the round piece that we had cut out from our upper support, and we're gonna round over the top edge, and we're gonna put a chamfer on the inside, so that way it seats well into the bottle and we'll keep the water out. Alright guys, and here's our final product. We got it full of bird seed here, and basically it's going to work off of gravity. You fill this thing up, and as the birds uh, eat away at this, you'll see it, it starts coming back out through here. So you can set this on a table or on something like that, if you have a good stable surface for it to set on. And uh, But if you'd like, you can go ahead and put some screws back behind. If you take your bottle out first, put your screws back behind the bottle so they're not visible, and attach it to a post or to a tree or something similar. Uh, and that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and consider supporting BS with AJ on Patreon so we can do bigger and better projects for you guys. I'll see you next week.